this is the uh, Mutsu apple or Crispin apple. Um, this is one tree that I got this year, uh, planted in the spring, and um, is quickly becoming one of my favorite apples. Actually, it's probably top two, anyways, top three. Um, it's a a late keeper apple, so today's uh, the first of December, and I'm eating this apple, obviously not from this tree, but. Um, I was able to find some locally. Um, it's a Japanese apple, um, commonly mostly used for dessert. Um, so obviously down the line here we'll talk about, you know, this tree's um, disease resistance and things. But we've got a few clues, obviously, from um, the apples that I've gotten locally. So this is one of the Mutsus. Um, you know, there's no scab and no signs of any other disease. And this, these are um, organically grown. Um, and so, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this tree's growing, its form. I'm super excited about sharing it with people. Um, and I think it's going to make a, a really great apple here. So, um, I'll cut into it here. Yeah, I'll take a look at the inside, um, taste it, and then um, talk about where where you can get it. But you know, as of right now, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, you know I don't know how this grows in other places, but this is probably a must-have apple for for a home orchard. So yeah, I found this uh, Mutsu growing locally, and um, I was really excited about it. I was able to try it at the uh, Orchard Society show and um, then when I found some more growing locally I went ahead and picked some up. I actually the place where I got these sell them for one dollar a pound and um, they're all organic so you think about that you get a honey crisp in the store they're like three or four dollars a pound here where I live and so you can't really beat a dollar a pound and I I'm out preferring these to the Honeycrisp. I think I've mentioned in videos, I planted three Honeycrisp trees because I thought they would be my favorite and uh, I, I found out very fast that um, Honeycrisp isn't going to be my favorite apple. So we'll cut this thing open and see what she looks like. So. Um, I'm probably not going to be uh, showing my face while I try these apples, but uh, I will tell you how what they taste like. Um, and uh, we'll start with the fact that it's December now, and and this apple is, you know, it's very hard and uh, still firm, and you know it's supposed to be a good keeper, which I can see. Um, It's got a white flesh, pretty yellow on the outside with some blushing from the sun. Um, no disease as far as I could see. Um, and so yeah, it should be a pretty good home variety apple around here. So my impressions on flavor, uh, it's tart. Similar to a honey crisp, um, I'd say similar in crunchiness, similar in flavor. Um, apple size, uh, I don't obviously have a lot to compare it to, but the handful of uh, apples that I picked up, they ranged um, to a pretty good size apple. Um, shows signs of uh, disease resistance around here and overall I think it will make a good um, you know small orchard or homestead or just want an apple tree around your house is overall probably a you know a top five apple to pick um, so anyways this is the the Mutsu or Crispin and uh, if you're thinking about growing some apples 
this would be definitely one I would choose. Um, anyways, if you like this video, comment, rate, and subscribe.